Number 38. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which is only steps two to five in the half reaction method. And then we have letter A. So in this case, we need to balance chromium, two plus, right? And that's aqueous. And that's going to yield Cr, three plus, and that's aqueous. Okay, easy enough, right? We've done tons of these before, so we got this, right? I gave you guys all of the steps for a full-blown acidic solution redox reaction. However, since we're only dealing with half reactions, we don't have to do the full nine steps. We only have to go up until five. But I just wanted to give you guys just the steps just so that you have it written down. And the reason why we don't have to, you know, do all of the steps is because we're only dealing with half reactions. And the first step is to break it into a half reaction. But if we already have a half reaction, we don't have to do this step. Now we're ready to go. Now just memorize these steps in order, okay? Because if you start putting things out of order, it's not going to come out nice, all right? So just, there's a method to this madness. Just memorize the numbers and what you got to do at each step. So for the second step, we balance all elements except hydrogen and except oxygen. But here, I don't have any hydrogen or oxygen on the left side. I don't have any hydrogen or oxygen on the right side. So who cares, right? <laughs> who cares? This one's nice and easy. And we just look at chromium, right? But I have chromium on the left. I got chromium on the right. I have one chromium on the left. I got one chromium on the right. So they're already balanced. So I can just skip over this step, right? So that's cool. They already balanced it for us. Thanks. <laughs> now we go to the next step. Balance oxygen by adding H2O. But just like I said before, there's no oxygen in this whole equation. So, whoop, skipping right over that one. The next one is balance hydrogen by adding H+, but just like before, I don't see any hydrogen here, so there's nothing to balance. So, whoop, that one's good. And now we come down to the part that we always have to do. We always have to check to see if the charges are balanced. And in order to do that, we have to add electrons, which are E negative. Remember, electrons are negative. So you're always going to add electrons to the more positive side. You're going to bring it down to the more negative side. Now, how do we do that? Well, I like to put a barrier here just to make sure that I don't cross paths, right? Whatever is on my reactant side stays on my reactant side, and whatever is on my product side stays on my product side. And what you're going to be doing is you're just going to look in the upper right-hand corner of each compound or element and just take note of the charge. So on my reactant side, I see that I have a 2 plus, And I only have one chromium. So the overall charge of this side is a plus 2. Right? It's equals to just the charge. And the same thing here. I see that I have a charge in the upper right-hand corner. Right? It's a 3 plus, And I only have one of these. So the total charge would be a plus three. So now those are the total charges that you're going to be worried about. We have to balance this charge. You add those electrons to always the more positive side. Out of a plus three and a plus two, which one is more positive? Totally, a plus three. So I know that I'm going to add the electrons on this side. But now the question is how many electrons? One two, three, you always add as many to get that positive number all the way down to the negative number, right? So I want to go from a plus three all the way down to a plus two. How many numbers on a number line is that difference? Yeah, only one, right? Only one number to go from a three to a two. So I know that I only have to add one electron. Do you have to add the one here? No. You, you don't have to, so you could just say plus E. It doesn't matter. I'll just leave the one. But that's it. You're done. So the final answer would just be Cr2 plus aqueous. And that yields Cr, chromium, 3 plus aqueous plus, and I'll, maybe I'll just put the E, you know, just to show you that you can have the one, you don't have to. But for all other numbers, you need to put those subscript, the, the coefficients in there. And that's it. This one was easy peasy. What do you guys think? Just memorize the steps and just know them in, in the order, okay, guys? So 
Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. It's crazy how this channel is helping people all over the world. So if you want to help us out, you can hit the subscribe button. It takes two seconds and it you know, gets the word out there that this service exists. And thank you so much. Let's keep crushing our exams and tests and, and quizzes and, and homework. We got this. All right. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.